I was at the club the other day and you know what I saw? A DJ. Why do DJs think they have the right to do this? When all they do is turn the bass up in a song slightly with their little I'm oh, turning on a small bass that they do with their hands. What are they so excited about? Did they suddenly come to the realisation that Wow, I do this for a profession. Imagine how good I'd be at operating a night dimmer. And the little cackling goblins in stilettos that they have in there. Because that is what a girl does in a club, isn't it? They don't laugh. They cackle. Here's the difference. A laugh is that nice little sound that girls do out of the club. Example. You thought we were meeting in George Street. No, I thought we were meeting in Pitt Street. <laughs> but in the club, they acquire this filthy little rasp of, Hey, Jacinda, you know what's a laugh? What? Public hangings. <laughs> I mean, yeah, DJs do deserve a certain level of respect. They do give joy to that level of society that when one of them dies and there's a eulogy for them, their friend will get up and say, Dino was mad. He used to yell out pussy on the bus to school. You know them? The kind of people who, if this were the Stone Age, their only useful application would be to dip their cock in a river and wiggle it around until a piranha latched onto it, at which point they hoist it out yelling, mm, Guys, I got one! I got one for dinner, guys! <laughs> You thought it was a worm, you're dumb. I went into the bathroom of this club to do my hair. This crusty little golem-like creature was lurking in the shadows behind me. It was my friend Roberta trying to steal my beauty tips. I didn't give her any, instead I gave her the classic Miss America talking to a burn victim speech. Just cop out after cop out of, oh, it doesn't matter that you're not hot because you're a nice person. She said, really? I said, no. Let's face facts. You look like the offspring of a rat having sex with a boil. A lot of people think that you're an ugly duckling scenario. Honey, you're 35. You're not transforming into a beautiful swan. If anything, you're morphing more and more into a greasy, fat, low-income, smelly piece of shit. And if you think that's sassy, then get a load of this story, which is pretty much exactly the same. I was getting ready for another party, and Grandma, the talking beef jerky, prattles into the room and says, Wouldn't you rather spend some time with the family? I said, Why? All you do is read the TV. TV guide to say, oh, I wonder what's on television at six tonight. Oh, the six o'clock news? How unexpected. You think you're all that in a bag of chips, don't you, Grandma? Well, I've got a news update specially for you. You're just the bag of chips. And Dials, the chips have already been eaten. That's right, you're a bag. You're a miserable old bag, and if they ever slapped a use by date on your withered ass, that it'd say best before the ice age. And so, yeah, that's pretty much how I treat my grandma. You can do it too. Please press the subscribe button now. Come on.